With us now to discuss is Bryn Talkington, requisite capital managing partner, management managing partner. She's also a CNBC contributor, along with George C. Annandale, chairman and co-founder. Good to have both of you on tech. George, you're, you own shares of Meta. The bar has been set high by, by both Alphabet and the stock performance so far this year. What do you expect? It's been a nice ride so far this year, Sarah, and we're obviously hoping it continues. But also on Microsoft and Google, and I, I, I think we fail to appreciate the historically strong performance of these companies. It's just amazing how they keep delivering incredible numbers and incredible performance quarter after quarter after quarter, no matter how much sperm and drain from the Fed, global economy and geopolitics is around them. It really was a sight to behold yesterday. So are you saying that the read through from Google specifically? Because for Meta, it's all about advertising growth, right? And potentially more cost cutting. Meta has been a really fun company to hold the last six to seven months because it's just been one elevator ride straight up. But now the hard part starts where they, they basically done all the easy stuff and now they got to go execute trying to grow their revenue stream again as well as keep its costs down. So. We're going to find out how good their management team is prospectively because they've got a lot of challenges still and ahead, ahead on their drive forward. I feel like OPEX is going to be a very important measurement in this report. Bryn, you're the, the happy shareholder of Microsoft today. Yes. Any read through there to broader tech? I think what you're seeing is these num these companies are, are five discrete companies. When you look at the, the top three, Microsoft, let's say Google and Meta. And so what we saw today is that Microsoft is operating on all cylinders. I mean, Satya came out so positive, mentioned AI and NVIDIA right off the top of the call. And when you look at their platform they're creating, where they are so unique, relative to, I would say, an Amazon and a Google, is where those two have cloud businesses. Google just turned a profit this quarter with cloud. Cloud at Google is about 9% of revenues, but 25% of workforce. So they had been losing money, so they've just become profitable. Yeah. They are still an ad company. Microsoft, on the other hand, is a cloud company. They are a, an office. They are gaming. They are LinkedIn. They have GitHub. They have security. And, and so, they're AI. And they're AI. And they talked about embedding AI throughout their platform already. And so to me, this was a watershed moment for Microsoft. You know, going back, Sarah, to 2000, there have been two companies that have remained in the S&P from 2000 to today, J&J &J and Microsoft. And I think with how quickly they've ramped up AI five, year, five years from now, they will still be in the top 10. Here's the thing. We're hitting session lows right now. And even the great tech earnings could not propel this market. With, without Microsoft, NASDAQ 100, Microsoft and NVIDIA, which you mentioned, are doing really well. There's the NASDAQ. It's still up, but losing the gains. And the S&P is now down about half a percent. So what does that tell you about the overall market? It was supposed to be up to big tech now. Well, it tells me we're worried about First Republic. And so the, the irony there is the FDIC and the Treasury and Fed decided SDB was systemic. And so they saved all the shareholders. The reality, though. Not shareholders. I mean, depositors. depositors. Depo yeah, definitely. Sorry. Depositors. The reality is over the last 20 years, over 400 banks have gone under. And those depositors only got 70 to 80 percent back. So I think that. This is about sentiment within, within First Republic. I think they're collateral damage. I don't see that they actually did anything wrong. I think you're having the spillover, and those depositors left the building, that $100 billion. And so I just think the market is back to saying, is, what is the Fed, what is the FDIC going to do? First Republic is just going to be a weakness and, a, and a, an elephant on the stomach of the market until this gets resolved.